Well, a small satellite circling Shenzhou 7's orbital capsule has managed to transmit images to Earth. It marks the completion of four firsts for China's aerospace industry. Li Na explains. Many images have been transmitted by the small satellite after circulating Shenzhou 7's orbital capsule for six days. This is the first time for China that one of its spacecrafts circulates another. This technique is necessary and of great significance for the construction of a space station. The spacewalk and experiments on materials, as well as the satellite data relay test, are all a breakthrough for China. And a small satellite is also a milestone in China's aerospace development. We are developing a resource satellite that will conduct surveys with goals including the prevention of disasters on Earth. The satellite of Shenzhou 7 marks a huge leap for China's aerospace development. Dina, CCTV. Well, just like an airplane, the Chinese spaceship Shenzhou 7 has a pair of wings when it's in orbit. Those wings aren't for flying. Just like the International Space Station, they're used for converting solar energy into electricity to power the spacecraft. Li Chong explains how the orbiting power plant works. From the camera circling the spacecraft, we can see these solar panels working for the first time. The panels are the biggest parts of the spacecraft with a span 10 meters wide. There's a solar panel on each of the spacecraft's wings, which unfold when the spacecraft is in orbit. The solar panels unfold two minutes after the spacecraft and rocket separates. They have to turn immediately towards the sun, ideally at an angle of less than 20 degrees, to achieve full power. After the panels adjust to face the sun, they are able to start powering the spacecraft. As long as there's sunlight, the panels can supply power to the spacecraft. There's also a battery to store extra electricity for when there is no sunlight. The vessel circles the Earth once every 90 minutes and has to withstand fast temperature differentials of up to 180 degrees centigrade. The ultraviolet radiation and particle collision are harmful to the panels. These require the materials used to be able to contract and expand. To allow the panels to obtain maximum solar reflection, scientists enable it to rotate through 360 degrees. The number of chips on the panels is also maximized. These techniques combine to give the craft all the energy it needs in space. Li Xiong, CCTV.